session on the item listed, a real property negotiation. Council gave direction to staff in those negotiations. No final action was taken that needs to be reported at this time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And uh, Madam Clerk, if you would do the roll, please. Councilman Leonard. Here. Councilman Popescu. Here. Councilman Daly. Here. Mayor Rigsby is absent. Mayor Pretambury Duper. Present. We have a quorum. Okay. And uh, Councilman Popescu to do the invocation of Pledge of Allegiance. And bar our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to serve this wonderful town and this amazing state and amazing country. We thank you for all the opportunities you've given us to be in this amazing country. We please be with us now as we deliberate, help us make good decisions and that may benefit for everybody in our town. We also ask that you be with our country now as we choose a new president and let us all work together regardless of who the new president is. In Jesus' name, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, in its soul, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. Mr. City Manager, do we have any uh, items to be added or deleted? No, sir. And uh, this will be a moment for any oral reports or um, public participation. Um, any member of the public wanting to speak on a non-agendized item is welcome to approach. Seeing nobody rushing forward, we'll move on to scheduled and related items. I'm sorry, conflicts of interest. We'll take those as they come, but we'll move on to scheduled and related items. Item number, number one. Yes, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem, is, is the practice with uh, council members who have previously declared conflicts relating to uh, the University Medical Center uh, organizations? Uh, I have prepared the normal straws. Since uh, Mayor Rigsby is not present, I will hold the last straw uh, that is not picked, will be his. And if he uh, ends up uh, with the winning straw, we will have to continue the item until he can be present. Sorry, let me get my microphone on. All right, so that item has been continued. Uh, we need a motion to continue it. I'll move to continue item number one. Okay, we have a first and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 I'm assuming that's continued to the next council meeting? Yes. Okay. And the date of that, Madam Clerk? December 13th. Okay. Okay. Hopefully everybody's going to be here. Okay, moving right along. Um, did they vote? Oh, yes, we did. It was all I. Okay. I'm sorry. That's right. Uh, moving along to the consent calendar. Do we have any items that wish, you know, anybody wants to pull any items or items we wish comment on? Or I'll entertain a motion to move it. I'll move the item, move the consent calendar. I'll second. Okay, we have a first and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 That carries unanimously. Moving on to old business. Council Bill O-2016-04, the second reading and roll call vote, amending and adopting the building code comprised of the following codes A through H, and it's basically um, all of our building codes, et cetera. Assistant City Manager. This is uh, the regular, I can do it from here, right? Yeah. But this is the regular update on the, the building code. We do this cycle about every two years, as, uh, as you saw last time. There's no significant changes. This is pretty much the, the housekeeping cycle for the code. Um, and 
Like I said, you, you looked at that and we're looking for approval this time. I'll ask my usual question on these kinds of things. Uh, you are confident that there's no changing code that's going to make it more difficult for developers and limit our ability to attract them to Loma Linda? Um, the, co the code always becomes more stringent. There's no massive overhaul in that. So there will be probably somewhere in there a little more, a little more difficulty, a little more detail for anybody doing the building, but it's also the international code, which is adopted across the entire country, so it does not put us Oh, this in is international. I thought it was state. This is California, but the international property code oh, and I see the that. 2016 yeah. California building code, it's all based on international codes. So why do we have to approve it? Uh, those are We have no option, right? So Well, we can come up with our own and, and invent our own, but what we've chosen then statewide ah. has been we will take the international code and make Specific uh, specific changes, mostly relating to earthquake and California specific type insulation, weather type things, um, to reflect the code locally, um, and that's pretty much what we're doing. So the code is no different than it here than it is in our neighboring cities or counties. It's consistent throughout the state. I figured as much. I just I now I understand better. I'll entertain a motion. Uh, do we need to move by title only? Yes, so your, your motion would be to approve to, uh, to waive reading yeah. accounts below 2016-04 in its entirety, direct the clerk to read by title only and call the roll. Correct. I'll second. Was that a motion? I'll second it. We have a first and a second, Madam Clerk. It is entitled an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Loma Linda, State of California, amending chapters 1508, 1550, and 1560 of the City of Loma Linda Municipal Code pertaining to buildings and construction by adopting the 2016 California Building Code, including the 2016 California Existing Building Code, 2016 California Referenced Standard Code, 2016 California Residential Code, 2016 California Green Building Standards Code, 2016 California Electrical Code, 2016 California Plumbing Code, and 2016 California Mechanical Code. And you may vote. It passes. It's hard to see that. Somebody who sat here before had a heavy hand. Okay, moving on to item 13, Council Bill O 2016 07. Be the second reading and roll call vote of the 2016 California Fire Code. And then uh, immediately following will be um, item number eight, the International Wildland Urban Interface Code. Can we do those together, or do we need to do them separately? Uh, they're separate ordinances, uh, unrelated. I would do them separately. <clears throat> Mr. Assistant City Manager, do we want to? Uh, uh, sorry. I, essentially, it's it's the same uh, cycle, three-year cycle um, for these codes as well. Um, there is really no significant uh, difference in how we operate. The one, the largest change to our municipal code was the adding the photovoltaic section um, although that doesn't really represent a change in how we've been conducting business in absence of having that section we had had adopted this practice uh, based on the state code um, knowing it would be coming into our own code so what we're putting in our, our municipal code now reflects how we've been operating at the counter for a couple of years now okay Again, I'll entertain motions to move these. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve Council Bill 
0-2016-07 for second reading. And the motion includes uh, waiving reading in its entirety and uh, direct the clerk to read by title only. Call the roll. Correct. It is entitled an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Loma Linda adopting and amending the 2016 edition of the California Fire Code, adopting and amending the 2015 edition of the International Fire Code and repealing chapter 15.28 of the Municipal Code. You may vote. And it passes. One of these, we're going to surprise you and ask you to read the whole thing, the whole yeah. ordinance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do we get a, a motion and a second on the second one? Uh, yeah. You mean number, item number 14? Yes. Uh, I go ahead and move that we move Council Bill 02013-08 for second reading. <coughs> Waive the reading and... Uh, vote by title only adopting the 2015 International Wild Land Urban Interface Code. I will second the motion. I think that's 0-216-08. Is that why? Okay. So, so I amend my motion so it says 2016-08. It is entitled an ordinance of the City Council of the City of Loma Linda adopting and amending the 2015 edition of the International Wildland Urban Interface Code. You may vote. And it passes unanimously. Okay, just to finish up our uh, city council agenda, Mr. City Manager, is there any new business? No, sir. Any reports of councilmen? I just had a couple of comments. I had um, had some questions and submitted some, why well, submitted questions regarding the affordable housing project we had on Van Leuven, and I know you answered all those questions and you provided those to me. I still would like for you to give a report to the council kind of a synopsis of what transpired because one of the reasons I had those questions was not only to understand what transpired, but what can we do in the future so we don't find ourselves in a situation where we approve a project that we all believe to be a market rate project and find ourselves, you know, dealing with an affordable housing project that we did not want to put in that area. I mean, we're not against affordable housing. We've approved plenty, but we believe that we as a council have a say in uh, where we put these projects. So I would still like to have uh, some sort of uh, report indicating what the council can do about it in the future. And then the other item is become to my attention that we ended last fiscal year, well, we approved a budget with a half a million dollar deficit. That is a fact. However, it's come to my attention that since then, when we closed our books for last year, apparently we had a surplus of 2.2 million and would like for us to give us an update on exactly what transpired and how did that happen because we got a lot of flack from the budget committee about the fact that we were in a deficit and suddenly we find ourselves with a lot of money so we, I, I want a better understanding of what transpired there yes we will have audit audit report at the okay. next meeting yes. perfect thank you any reports of officers okay we will adjourn the city council agenda and I will open up the, uh, should we do the housing authority or successor agency, does it matter? Successor. Housing authority. Call the housing authority to order. We've already dispensed with the roll call. Are there any items, items to be added or deleted? No, sir. Any reports from the public? Seeing none, we're moving on. Any conflicts of interest, we'll deal with those as they come. And we only have one item on the agenda, which is the consent calendar. I move the consent calendar. I'll second. First and a second, all in favor say aye. 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 Any member reports, reports of officers, and we are adjourned.
We will open the successor agency to the redevelopment agency. We've already dispensed with the call to order and roll call. Are there any items to be added or deleted? No, sir. Any oral reports from the public on non-agendized items? Seeing none, we'll continue. Any conflicts of interest, we'll deal with those. Uh, scheduled items is the consent calendar. I'll entertain a motion. Uh, I'll move the consent calendar. I did have a question. Second. My question is, the successor agency process has not been continued until 2018? That's when they anticipate the countywide oversight board, but the successor agency process will continue until the debt obligation is paid. That was the recommendation from our council is to continue it and not file for the last and final ROPs. Okay. But to continue doing the ROPs ourselves. And our ROPs, we anticipate it's going to go on as long as we have bond as payments. Long as we have bond. So we're looking at 20 years then. <laughs> We just refinanced, and uh, yeah, it's about 20. 30, yeah, I think it was like okay. 35. Yeah. All right. Well, that answers my question. Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we have a first and a second on the agenda. All in favor, say aye. 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 And uh, any old business, anything else? And that will close out the successor agency agenda. That's it. Good night.